Good morning, Boo Boo Kitty. Does the screen, does the, the image on screen look too washed out or too bright to you? Yes, purple. I didn't put this in the description, but this is the Serene Floral Kit. It's a printable, but good morning, T Creates. It's a printable kit that's in my shop. Am I coming through clear? <laughs> okay, great. All right, let's get started. So I printed much more than what I need. I printed on cardstock. I printed on 32 pound paper because I figured I could use the items that way. And I had a lot of misprints like this because of my internet. Again, it would be printing and in the middle, just stop because of the wireless. Um, so this is the cover that we're gonna be working with today. And we'll go back to the capital sheet next time. I reduced these. These were full eight and a half by 11. I reduced them to 75%. That was the closest I could get to fit this size, which I thought was a quarter page, but it's actually four by six. So good morning, Miss Kelly. Um, so I'll have to, they're not exactly the right size, but they're close. So I can trim off the excess to make it fit. So I'm going to start with that. Um, so these are just some of the designs, even though they're reduced 75%. I'm going to be playing around with. And did I take the papers off of the other printer? Nope, I didn't. So I need to get those papers too. But these are what I have. And I was thinking of either this on the inside or I don't want to do too much purple. Like I got some duplicates. And here we go. So whatever I don't use, I can use to make, I really love this one. Um, but whatever I don't use, I can use to make tags. So then I have these two. I think I could use this one on the inside cover since it has purple and orange. It's not just orange. So that might work better. And I printed extras of this in, ca in case I messed up. And I probably do. Miss Kelly says, love the purple. Thank you. I gotta remember to look at my phone. I have my phone right next to me so that I can see the chat without having to lean way back over on my other desk. And I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi on my phone because it's messing up. <laughs> okay, so I need to trim this down. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it and I'm gonna use my, the trimmer that I don't like. I got that big giant paper trimmer, but I just don't feel like I need it for these little jobs. Should I use it for these little jobs? Never too much purple. You know, I used to be a purple lover back in my Prince loving days. I don't love it so much anymore. I don't know. Pink kind of took, took purple spot in my heart. I mean, I used to be a nut about purple. And it seems to be a purple thing. It must be something about purple that just makes us go nuts because I used to be a nut about purple. Okay, I just knocked some stuff off my shelf, so I'm putting it back. Sorry. Ugh. But I can't have that all over the floor. Okay. So we're gonna work with this ginormous thing today. It just takes up so much space. Already in a limited space. Okay. 
So, and then I'm not quite sure how to line this up yet. I think I push it a little bit past the plastic. And swoop. Yeah, I think that's what you did. Nope, because it's still got a little white edge on there. I'm gonna leave that for now and go ahead and cut the center. So I don't need to push it a little past the plastic. I'm gonna put it right at the edge and cut. Okay. Are we still good? Are we still here? Yeah, I think, yes, <laughs> okay. So let's see. It's still, I don't know, it's still not cutting the way I think it should. Okay, I see. So I need to line it up with the edge of the metal. I think that's what's gonna do it. And it didn't cut that slither off very well. Let's try again. Mm -mm. That was too small of a slither. Okay, I'm not gonna keep trimming it. See, this is why I needed to use my other paper trimmer. Something that I'm used to. Okay. So now I'll trim it down to what size it actually needs to be, which is four by six. Let's see how much bigger it is. I think it's about six and a quarter. So I'm gonna take a eighth of an inch off of each end so that it will still be pretty balanced and centered. That doesn't look like an eighth of an inch. Hold up, what's going on? Okay, let's take this off, there we go. I don't wanna take too much off down there. And maybe before I take any more off, I should check it against this. That might help a little to make sure that we don't go too small. That's gonna be really cute. I like it already. Cut a little slither off up here. And then there's my pencil. Just cut it right there. Can I see that? Yeah. Good top to bottom. Now we need to get the sides taken care of. I don't think I'm gonna cut too much off of this side because I'll cut into the flower. So that's gonna kind of make it a little off balance, but Let's see if I can take just a, a hair off of that. No, I better not do that. Let me just mark it. And suck it up. Everything straight. Okay. I think we got it. So, yep. 
that's going to fit on there like that. Now for the back, it won't be so difficult. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just mark it. I kind of do think that the paper is torn on those corners. Let's see. Is it the same? We're going to work from a place of it being the same. I'll trim the other part afterwards. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me check the chat. I didn't even have it open over here. Hi, Desiree. Or is it Desiree? This means I'm going to have to do some more inking. Uh, I think I'm going to trim it off on that side. That's what I'm going to do. So we don't lose any of the little flower. And I did need to trim some more off of the bottom of that. Because it is not the same size as the front, not quite. That's good. Now let's work on a spine. So I'm gonna have to butch up one of these good pages. Let me get my little off here. And I'm gonna use this area for the spine. So okay. So is Desiree. Good morning. Do you get that a lot? <laughs> I get it a lot too. I'm Rachel, Raquel. Um uh Rochelle. <laughs> um, yeah. My mom was like, why don't you correct people? Because I get tired of correcting people. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but for the most part, I don't. And then some people I correct and and they still don't say it right, so why bother? Okay. Yeah. When I'm not sure, I try to ask. And when people do that, I do appreciate it. <laughs> so. All 
I'm not good with even remembering names. I'll remember who you are, but I won't remember names. So there's like an actual condition of people that can't remember faces. I can remember your face. I just might not, I cannot see that. I am so blind. Let me turn it this way. Maybe I can see it. Barely. Is my head in the camera? Sorry. <laughs> see if I can see it now. Yeah, I can see it now. Um, good morning, Beverly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds too country. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so that's going to fit good. Let's put this away. It gave me a fit. Could have been finished if I'd have used a different trimmer, but I got to get used to it. I spent the money to get the thing. I need to use it. Okay, let's get these scraps out of the way. I'm just fumbling and bumbling this morning. So usually I go to the gym on Wednesdays and I thought I had a doctor's appointment today. And so I had it all planned out where I would go to the gym um, Wednesday and have my doctor's appointment this morning and then come back and do the live stream. Well, it turned out that my doctor's appointment was Wednesday, not Thursday. So I still had to get my gym time in. So I left early this morning and went to the gym and ran my errands. And so now I'm back to do the live stream. I'm shooting to do the live stream at 9.30. Maybe I should move that back to 10 o'clock. That gives me a little more time to be prepared. What did I do with the pieces that I cut? Oh, there. So. so I'm just inking the edges, getting rid of some of the white the ink does cover up a multitude of sins, and I like the way it looks. I don't, sometimes I do real grungy and go all over or have a thick border of ink around it, but for the most part, I just do a little bit. Even when I'm making um, planner covers and stuff like that. I like to ink the edges. I just think it looks looks better. Okay. There we go. Hopefully I can keep this pretty clean. <laughs> I don't usually like to work with a light colored base because I make a mess, but I'll try it. So we're gonna do wet glue on this. Oops, I pulled it out of my little holder. I knew that was gonna happen. Am I missing? Nope. Okay. Let's see if I can get the glue out. Yep. So I use the art glitter glue. I order it off of Amazon. And I don't know if I have my Amazon shop linked in the description, but if not, I will link it. Because pretty much everything that I use that I get from Amazon, I have it listed. So you can see my favorite things that I use. And here we go. Is it right side up? Oh, 
Where is my heavy book? Um, Desiree says, I've decided to get a silhouette for, or should I get a Cricut? I heard that silhouette has more space to print on and you can save images easier. I don't know about the space thing because the only thing that I was concerned about is being able to do the 12 by 12. And it, if you get a portrait with silhouette, it only does eight and a half by 11, a little smaller. They don't do exactly 12 by 12. So it's always going to be a little smaller. But I think that the silhouette also will do a long 12 by whatever. But I, that's not something that I really cared about. So I can't even tell you how long that is versus how long it is with Cricut. But the Cricut can cut 12 by 12 or approximately 12 by 12. I am actually leaning more towards the Cricut, but I've been using it more lately and I've had it for a while. Um, I have a Cricut 2 Air something that, and I think I have, I don't know, a version of Silhouette. Here's the thing. Cricut does not have any, if you're going to make your, want to make your own stuff, design your own stuff. You want to make your own stickers or whatever you're making. Cricut is, you can't do that in Cricut for the most part. There's minimal things that you can do in Cricut. If you're familiar with Photoshop, Silhouette has more functions in it that are similar to Photoshop as far as creating. You can make a whole sticker uh, set in there as long as you got the graphics to add to it. So that's the difference. Now, when it comes as far as the software, plus at one time, Silhouette was better because the software was actually on your computer, not on the internet. And Cricut has had it only on the internet. Now they have a beta version that you can download to your computer that works exactly the same as the one on the internet. Good morning, CPAL. Um, but, when it comes to cutting the stuff, Cricut is a lot less temperamental than Silhouette. And I wish I'd known that a long time ago. <laughs> like It'll even add the bleed to your stuff automatically. You don't even have to, if you use um, Silhouette, it doesn't do that. You have to actually manually put that in there. So that's like amazing to me because that's a lot of work to add the bleed. And then if you're selling digitals, you have to add the bleed for some and then no bleed for others. It's a whole thing. So I just think that's amazing that Cricut does that. And all you need is a ping image and you're good to go. As long as you know the size of it. So I don't know. I like both for different things. I thought I liked the silhouette better because of the ability to design in it. But if you got Photoshop, then Cricut is the way to go. Okay, that was answering way more than you asked for. Good morning, <laughs> fabulously creative. But it's been on my mind. I just used the Cricut this morning and I was just like, wow, I can't believe that was so easy. And maybe I've just had good luck so far because I have heard people say that they've had, um, you're stuck, Desiree, that they've had problems with the Cricut, but so far, knock on wood, I haven't had any problems with it as far as reading its own registration marks and all that. The first time I tried to print and cut with it, it didn't do so well. The print part took forever. And I don't know, I thought it was the cricket causing that to happen, but apparently it wasn't.
Okay. So let's work on the inside cover. Yeah. I'm really enjoying that cricket now. It's like, boom, design something, save it as a ping, print and cut, easy peasy. Oh, um, I'm gonna have to take that big mama jamma out again. Mm. Let me cut the edges off. Let's try this one. I don't like, this is the one that I got and I thought I was just gonna be so happy with it, but it doesn't really cut straight. But let's see if we can make it work. Let's see. See, it's already doing wonky stuff. See, that's not straight, but I had it butted up against here straight. So that's just as crooked as it can be. So no, <laughs> we won't do that. And I'm not using the other one because it seems like even though I got a new blade on there, it's still trying to tear my paper. So we'll get this one back out again. <clears throat> okay. Now I need to learn all the extra stuff that Cricut does too. And one of my goals for this year, which is really a minor thing, um, is to actually use some vinyl, cut some vinyl. I've never done it. I have vinyl sitting around here just waiting to be cut, but I just haven't done it. I think I better butt it up to the crooked edge. The crooked edge. So I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna go like that. I used to try to measure all of this, but what happens is you it would be off because whatever base I'm putting it on, if it's not exactly perfect, then everything would be off. So it's much better to like hold the paper up to whatever base you're working on and marking the paper that way. I used to be obsessive about using the ruler. If you watch some of my older videos, <laughs> you'll see. I was obsessed. I still am a little bit, but yeah. My older videos are on Scrapcraft Tastic, by the way. If you didn't know, she's a major cutter. Yeah, that I'm not that good with. Um, let's see. I might need my glasses because I do not see where I wrote at. Huh. <sighs> That's a shame. There it is. Okay. I hope that's it. It's really hard with the pattern. We got astigmatism to actually see. I keep doing that. To actually see what you're cutting or the little tick mark because it just blends in everything else. Let's see. That's good for now. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, what I suggest to people is you can download the software for um, Silhouette for free. So I suggest that even without the machine, you can play around with the software and see if you even like the software. If you're not comfortable with the software, then it's pretty pointless to get the machine. So you can download it, install it on your computer for free. It's the basic version, so it won't have all the um, features with some of the other versions of the software, but you have to pay for those anyway. So the only thing you get with for free is the basic version. So um, and I need a piece of Tyvek to go in here. Where is my Tyvek? And do I really want to do that? I had a small scrap piece somewhere. I don't know why I keep forgetting to put tie back on the outside. It's like I have a mental block or something. Um, is this it? This is too small. That's not gonna work. That's not substantial enough. So let's see. Let me go over here and get another piece. Give me one second. I have to go on the other side of the desk. Okay, let's see. I hope I didn't cut that too small. Yeah, that's better. All right. So let's glue this down. So what are y'all up to this morning? Or what are you up to today? Any exciting plans? Anything exciting going on? Okay, y'all are quiet. <laughs> it makes me keep looking to check to make sure we're still on. Okay, so the tie back is to kind of help shore up the spine, make sure that it is nice and sturdy um, because it won't tear. <sighs> As for this, I did this with tape before, and I think I'm going to do tape again. But should I? I just think it sticks so much better once you start folding with tape. So here's the one we did Tuesday. And I used tape. I think I get better results with tape. I'm using tape. Okay. And I'm about to run out of this thick tape. 
Ooh, do I have some, some? Oh, I'm out. No, about to. Okay. Let me get some more tape. Let's see. I might have some right here under the desk. Yep. So this is the Miss Sparkle line. I don't even think they have this at Joanne anymore. They still have some Miss Sparkle items, but I don't think they have a tape. But they do, let me take this out, gotta recycle. But they do um, have Park Lane, I think, is the brand that they have now. So. And I find it so much easier just to use the ruler to tear the tape, just like washi tape. I used to try to cut it with the scissors. I used to tear it, which I don't like because it would give you a raggedy edge. But this is so much better. Watching at work, says C. Powell. Just lovely about to log in for work. Thank goodness I work at home. It's nasty here in Atlanta. Really? What's happening in Atlanta? The rain? It looks like our sun is coming out. It was kind of dreary and looking rainy earlier, but it looks like I see a little blue and some clouds out there. Now it's not so gray. Hmm. My friend lives in Atlanta. I know she said it had been raining a lot. But let's see. I want to make sure I kind of get the tape right on the crease. So let's do that. And try and be straight, unlike we did the other day, unlike what we did. Wow. Did I say good morning, fabulously creative? I think I did. Um, yeah, our weather is pretty, yeah, the sun's coming out. I mean, we had the air condition on yesterday, so, and I think we'll have it on again today, but it's supposed to, um, we're supposed to have a big temperature drop Friday, I think tomorrow sometime down to 49. So we're like in the eighties during the day here and it was like 60 something this morning but it still felt really hot because it's muggy outside the humidity is high but i'm gonna try and enjoy these last well this is probably the last cold snap we're gonna have because spring is next month so and the pollen is already out here my zeal my little piece of an azalea bush bloomed last month. So really, Miss Lady Diva? It's been raining here since last year is what what Miss Lady Diva said. Hmm. Yeah, luckily we don't get that much rain like that. I mean, well, okay. Let me take that back. In the summertime, it rains here almost every day. But it's like it rains in the afternoon. We have our typical Florida storms with like lots of lightning and thunder. 
and then just as fast as it starts, it's over. So, I mean, it'll rain and 30 minutes later, you can't even tell that it rained. So I'm not mad at that. I mean, I don't care for the thunder and the lightning, but here we go. Let's make sure we got it going the right direction this way. Inked edges. Do I want to put that down now or do I want to do a closure underneath that? No, I should have did. How do I want What kind of closure do I want? I'm not going to be so quick to glue this down this time. Let's think about a closure. So the thing is, if I ran a ribbon underneath that, then the ribbon would constantly be pulling on this when you close. So that's not a good idea. But I could do some kind of something or other. <laughs> but I have this. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this. This is the ribbon that Boo Boo Kitty used on my birthday gift that I've been holding on to. So I'm going to use that on this. So I am going to use, um, okay. So yeah, I'll use, what are those things called? An eyelet closure on it. Oh, my daughter's ma, what are you doing? Streaming. <laughs> so I'm going to use that since we're all purpled out. Okay, I'm just trying to get my sides together because talking and doing this at the same time is not that easy. I wonder if I have any purple eyelets. I better have some orange ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. My daughter is a mess. A mess. Okay. I tell her I'm uh, I'm live streaming and she starts a conversation. Like I didn't just say I'm live streaming. She should just get on the stream. And talk to me out here. I think that's going to be enough to get me started. Let's do a little bit more. Sunny and 19 degrees. Woo! Okay. It would be so much easier to just stick my head up under there and look at it. <sighs> I 
Okay. All righty, all righty, all righty. Let's see, I messed that up because I didn't pull this all the way down and it laid down. There we go. So I'll pull these off. It seems like all I do is taping, taping. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just lovely asked, what did I use to make this cover? The base is um, two pieces of cardstock glued together. Then I have a piece of, I don't even remember if it was cardstock or just 32 pound paper, but I have it covered with a piece of coffee or tea stained paper or cardstock. I don't think it was cardstock. I can't remember. Um, and that's it. So this one is some chipboard from my cat food box, <laughs> my cat's food box. So whenever I have any packaging with a good quality chipboard, I keep it. Um, I don't, I have some cereal boxes around, but I've used uh, cracker boxes. I think cereal boxes are the most flimsy. I've used the macaroni and cheese box. So now I'm just kind of training the paper. And I'm wondering if I should use a sealant on the papers. I kind of considered that. That's going to be real, real stiff. Yeah, okay, so I have, I get the like 32 pack of the wet food for my cat and each layer has a piece. I don't use the outside box. I use the pieces that are on the inside. So each layer of cans has a piece of chipboard in it. And that's what I use for the base of these. Now for other stuff, I mean, I just use whatever chipboard I can get my hands on. And if I see like something that we have in the kitchen that looks like a good piece of chipboard, then I just make sure it doesn't go in the recycle bin. I keep it to make covers with. But yeah, this one is just all cardstock or paper. And it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty sturdy. I don't like the way that bends like that, but I think if I set something on it to keep it to hold the shape, then we'll be good. So I will put a closure. I think we got time to do that. If I'm not too extra about it. I've been watching this channel on YouTube. Uh, it's Shabba Dabba Duda, I think. Shabby Shabby Dabby Duda, something like that. Um, and she's been making stuff with 
what she calls tracing paper, but it looks like vellum to me with tracing paper, making envelopes and stuff. And I want to try some of that. So we may be doing some of that soon too, because I'm just itching to give it a try. So I started to come in here last night and just get on live and do one just to see how it worked out. But I didn't. Is there any orange on the front of that? Nope. I really like these big, ginormous eyelids, but then that would be on the frame. So I can't do that. Should I use the teeny tiny ones? But then what colors do I have? I got purple in there. Is this too thick for that though? Huh. I don't know if I got more than one purple. Let me see what's in this one. Let's put the lid on here. This isn't really purple, but it kind of matches the flowers. I think I'll use that. Let's see. Where are my tweezers? <sighs> no point in struggling if I don't have to. The only thing is I've had a problem in the past with those, with the other piece staying on. Oh, but that match, I just dropped it back in there. That matches the frame though. But I think this is, more purdy. What do y'all think? Just lovely. You have a lot of vellum. Hmm. I wish I had a lot of vellum. <laughs> I try to use it conservingly, conservatively, because uh, I don't have very much left. Okay, that's it. That's the only two usable colors. And I think I'll just go with the purple looking one. Cause I only have, I have a pastel purple one in here, but I think there's only one in there. So. Since our ribbon is small, but then how's that gonna look with the ribbon? I guess it's okay. Um. Here is my crocodile. I'm gonna put it in the drawer. There it is. Okay. Let's measure it up and get get her done. So this is six. So that's gonna be about three and three. And we're gonna put it. Let's go and open it up. Make life easier. So I'm just using the center finder side of this ruler uh, to find the center somewhat. How is that even possible? 
and then just kind of marking where I need to punch my hole. Let's see, I need to make sure I'm using the right side. There's something stuck in the hole. There we go. That's the big side. This is the little side. I cannot see the my tick mark. I'll tell you what. Let's see if this will work. Nope. I don't think it will. Hey, Liz. Yeah, you almost missed it. Okay. Still can't see it. Let's get under a lamp. See if I can see it. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Let's do the other side real quick. Under the lamp. All right. Now, hopefully, this will all come out properly. Just getting it ready, guys. I got to read the directions first. <laughs> I should just write this down or make myself a poster to hang by my desk so I don't have to do this every time. I need the English speaking versions. These are one eighth inch eyelids with a washer. So that's going to be C4. I think I already had it on C4. Um, this one's so beat up, I can't even tell what the number is. Nope, I didn't. That's four. Okay. Okay. So the long piece goes through the long part of the crocodile goes through the actual eyelet. And then the other part goes on the bottom. And did it work? Not really. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to take a hammer and just Smash that thing on there, <laughs> but I don't. Okay, so there's that. Let's do this again. So the long post goes through the eyelet, and the washer works on. That side, let's try. Okay, I think that's in there. Not quite centered, <laughs> but it's in there. Okay, so then this will be our closure. Miss Lady Diva, she was, uh, if you're talking about what Liz said, that she almost missed the live stream. That's what she's talking about. You know what? I kind of think that I mostly just like making covers for journals and books. Because 
I'm always having ideas. Ooh, I can make that cover. Ooh, I got another cover that I want to make. I want to make a trifold cover. <laughs> I just want to keep making covers, but I need to fill these bad boys up. So, is this the same length? Let's get this right. I can trim them up after I get them in there. Um, but yeah, I just keep wanting to make covers. It's like I got three or four covers sitting over there ready to be filled up and decorated. Nope, I did it this way. Where is the shortest one? Where are my scissors? Okay. And then I'll um, finish the edges later. Okay. So let's tie it close help start training it to stay closed. Oops. And voila, we have the beginnings of another journal. A little four by six or Actually, the insides might be a little bit smaller than that. That's pretty cute. Let's see if I can get this closed. So I think that's what we're gonna what we're gonna call it quits for today. Because again, just like for this one, I need to start pulling the papers to fill them up. And for this one, I might do the closure without you guys or you ladies, um, because just because I don't have any idea what kind of closure I want to do. I don't want to just keep doing eyelets. So I got glue all over my hands. So I need to pull insides for everything. And that's what I got to do. So anybody have any questions or anything? Again, this kit is the Serene Floral Kit. It's on my website in the shop at Scrap Craftastic. If you're interested, you can use Rochelle 20 to save 20% off your order. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. <laughs> If nobody has any questions. All right. I don't see anything popping up in the chat, so I'm gonna think assume there's no questions. So thank you to everyone who came on. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, you can share it with your friends if you like, <laughs> um, and you can find me across social media at Scrapcraftastic. I also have a Journal Life's Journey Instagram, but I'm on Scrapcraftastic everywhere else, including Instagram. Um, you can check out my website at scrapcraftastic.com. Uh, am I going to round the corners of this? No. Of the cover, Miss Kelly? Am I, Ms. Kelly's asking, are you going to round the corners? Have a great day, Ms. Uh, C. Powell. Miss <laughs> um, Kelly, let me know what you mean.
Do you, if you mean the inside, probably not. That's not something. It's not that easy to do that with um, a base like this because getting it getting it folded neatly over a rounded corner is pretty difficult unless you're using fabric. So I'm going to guess that that's what you meant. And hopefully I answered your question. So that's going to be it. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Bye.